super smart. Look what I found. And there's a whole tray full right over. Oh, uh, well, uh, gee, uh, sorry, I, I didn't know. <laughs> Squirrels must smurf for the winter too, clumsy. Ah, the apples. Smurf them over there, Hefty. Right, Papa Smurf. Everybody, this way. I hate this way. Okay, Andy. That'll smurf it. It's all full, Papa Smurf. Good. Now we'll have plenty to eat all winter. <laughs> I'm much too old. Hey, who did that? Gee, that sure is a smurfy snowman, Beady. Yeah, except I get hungry every time I look at him. What's that? The alarm! Fire! Fire! Smurf some buckets. Form a line from the lake. Move it. Great Smurfs! It's frozen! Hey! Whoa! Hefty, really? Papa Smurf said to hurry, and this is not the time for you to be taking a Smurf. Take this! Got it! Here! Give it to me! Got it! Smurf it up! Faster, faster! Mm -hmm. The water's frozen. They're all frozen. Ooh, this is terrible, terrible. It certainly is, Papa Smurf. Where there's smoke, there's fire, I always say. And... Oh, the fire's popping the nuts. Smurf for cover. Roasted chestnuts. Nothing. We have nothing left to eat. Oh, oh, I'm really very hungry in this. But, but we'll, we'll smurf from hunger. Oh, Papa Smurf, what are we going to do? Now, now, my Smurfs, don't panic. I'll think of something. I hope. And then a big plate of sarsaparilla covered with whipped cream and great big Smurf berry. Thank you for inspiring me, Greedy. Now I can write my great and masterful work, Ode to Hunger. Sorry, Snowman, but there's only one of you and a hundred of us. Oh, goodness, Smurfness, I'm wasting away to nothing. Oh, I'm so hungry, I could eat a, a, a snowball. I can't let my little Smurf starve. There's only one thing to do. My little Smurfs, there is only one thing to do. We must abandon the Smurf village. Abandon the village? What will we Smurf? I hate abandoning. Oh, no, Papa Smurf. This is my home. Oh, boo, boo. I don't want to Smurf anywhere else. I know, Smurfette. But leaving the village is our only hope. But where will we go? South. We're bound to find food to the south. Now, all of you, gather your things. But we must travel light, so bring only the bare essentials. Uh, we're all ready to go, Papa Smurf. All right, comes. Oh, my Smurf in heavens! Goodbye, village. I can't go on, Papa Smurf. I just can't. But we must, or we'll freeze. Stay together and keep moving. A castle. Quickly, quickly, follow me. I don't hear anyone. 
It looks kind of old, Papa Smurf. Maybe it's deserted. No! No! It looks deserted. Quickly, inside. Yuck! This place is dirty! Uh, and scary. There's nothing to fear but fear itself, Clumsy. I always say... <laughs> Don't worry, Brainy. It's probably just the wind. Now, let's see if we can find some food. I'll eat the that. That doesn't sound like wind to me. True, Brady, but we didn't come all this way to be scared off by strange noises. Smurfs, forward! Good place to go, Papa Smurf. What's that? Shh, someone's coming. The ghost! I knew it! Ah, let's smurf out of here! Yeah, let's run! I know there are no such things as ghosts. Well, maybe I should check on my little Smurfs. If Papa Smurf says there's no ghost, then there's no ghost. Because if Papa Smurf says... Ah! Yay! Brainy! Uh, what's wrong? Ghost! I heard ghosts growling. Did anyone ever tell you you're beautiful when you're mad? Listen. Someone likes music. Let's hope he likes food. Well, if he's a ghost, let me at him! Just let me at him! wasn't really floating, the harpsichord wasn't really playing itself, and I'm sure there's no ghost inside that headless knight. Of course not. I knew it all the time, Papa Smurf. I always say that you should always look before... you leap! Now, if we can just think of a way to get our mysterious host to show himself. Uh, Jokey, did you pack all your essentials? Yes, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Knight. I brought you a present. It's a surprise. Are you all right, sir? Huh? I said, are you all right? No. I mean, yes. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Who are you? I am Papa Smurf, and these are... Smurf? What's a Smurf? We live in the forest, and we came here to get out of the cold and hope there might be something to smurf. They're asking if you've anything to uh, eat. To eat? Uh, you see, there's a real ghost who lives here in the castle, and he steals all my food. <laughs> but, but I do have something I can share. A real ghost? Here we are. <laughs> It isn't much, but it's all I have, I'm afraid. Everything I've had has just slowly disappeared somehow. Our dinner! Let's go after him! You dirty rat! Come back here with our bread! Whoa! 
Smurfs, how can I thank you? You found everything that pack rat ever stole. Thank you for your generosity, Mr. Poppery. Won't you take some gold coins or diamonds? I'll never be able to spend it all. No, thank you. We have no use for such things. Food is all we need. Goodbye, Mr. Poppery. <laughs> I hear you, little fella. From now on, we'll share our food. <laughs> well, my little Smurfs, thanks to Mr. Poppery, tonight we can feast. Excuse me, Papa Smurf. Greedy! Aren't you hungry? Well, to tell you the truth, Papa Smurf, I had a few snacks on the way over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you tricked me again, you idiot box. <laughs> I'll stick you in here where you can't cause me any more grief. There. No more dirty tricks out of you. <laughs> Ow! Oh, get out of my life. Out of my life. <laughs> oh, no! No, wait, I can explain. Ouch! I should have known getting rid of this box of dirty tricks wouldn't be easy. The only way to get rid of you is to foist you off on some unsuspecting fool. But who would be stupid enough to... Hello? Is anyone home? Yoo-hoo! Oh, <laughs> you must be the wise man I've been searching for. Who are you? Uh, me? Oh, well, uh, I am the humble wizard Gargamel, and I've come to seek your advice. Oh, great oracle! Oh, wise one! Oh, thinker of deep thoughts and... Out with it! What do you want? Well, uh, uh, there are these disgusting little creatures called Smurfs. For years, they've made my life miserable. I've tried and I've tried to drive those miserable little blue wretches from the forest. But nothing ever works. I've used every trick in the book. Every trick? Well, do you say you need tricks? Why, yes. Dirty tricks? Oh, yes! Dirty tricks! <laughs> That's it! That's it! Hang on! <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, uh, only give advice. Oh? But for you, I'll make an exception. Uh, uh, you will? I have here the legendary one and only original box of dirty tricks, guaranteed to get most nasty jobs done. Uh, I'll take it! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. A thing of such value commands a high price. But I have only a single penny. So, now, be on your way. I am a busy man. A box of dirty tricks, and for just a penny. Oh, 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 oh this is too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Azriel, those rotten little Smurfs are doomed now. Oh, I'm so happy I could laugh. <laughs> Something's burning. Ouch! Oh, my beautiful box! Gotcha! Whoa. <laughs> I must recover that box! I must! I must! <laughs> oh, nature untamed, why dost thou smite me so? Uh, no, it's not nature that's smiting you so, Brainy. Look! But it's so pretty. I wonder what's in it. Hey, yeah, maybe it's four cookies. Or barbells. Or mirrors. 
solution. So we can see through the box without opening it, right, Papa Smurf? Right. But first, I need some very special ingredients from deep, deep in the forest. I'll be back in the morning. Meanwhile, no Smurf is to touch that box. For all I know, it could be very dangerous. Yes, Papa Smurf. Goodbye, Papa Smurf. We'll be good, Papa Smurf. Oh, gosh. I wonder what is in there. Maybe it's a dress. Maybe it's a big surprise! <laughs> Remember what Papa Smurf said. Curiosity killed the Smurf. Better safe than sorry. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And most important of all, lay one finger on that box and I'll tell. Oh. All I can think about is what's in that box. Maybe I'll fall asleep if I count the case. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Two hundred and nine, two hundred and ten. Oh, you Smurfy box, you. Two hundred and eleven. Five hundred sixty-five, five hundred sixty-six. Oh, if only I could open those books. I have to know what's in that box. After all, I am Papa Smurf's assistant. <gasps> Um, uh, I demand to know what you're all doing here. The same thing you're doing here, Brainy Smurf. Me? Oh, uh, well, uh, but I'm Papa Smurf's assistant, so I should open the box. Oh, no, you don't, Brainy. I'm the strongest, so I should open it. Hefty Smurf, if you were a gentleman, you'd know that I should be the first. If you were as hungry as I am, you'd know that I should be the first. Come on, I'll be the first. Why don't we all open the box together? Yes! So, you think you're tough, huh? Come on, Smurfs! I need more weight! Uh, more weight! Uh, uh, No push it out of the way! It's empty! I hate empty! I knew it! I knew it all along. Wait until Papa Smurf finds out you disobeyed his orders. <laughs> I hope this teaches all of you a lesson. If only you had listened to me, you wouldn't be in such big trouble. But, oh no! You had to succumb to your childish impulses. <laughs> I didn't want a pretty new dress anyhow. <laughs> Smurfs! I see Smurfs! 
Gargamel! Follow him, Asriel! Follow him! Help! It's Gargamel! 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 Eureka! I found it! This is such easy picking, I feel guilty, <laughs> almost. Look, Azriel, assorted flavors. <laughs> huh? My precious box! But, but where are the dirty tricks? Ouch! <laughs> now I have you, now I have you all! <laughs> Something dreadful has happened. Hello! Everyone's gone. And so is the box. Gargamel. So he's at the bottom of all this. I only hope I'm not too late. Tonight, Hosriel, we dine in style with stew a la smell. Mm. Hosriel, don't play with your food. Thanks, Murphness, there's still time. Now to bring our delicacy to a rapid boil. With all of these ingredients, I may be able to turn Gargamel stew into a transparency solution. Be ready to move when I give the signal. Guys, we're becoming invisible! Yeah, perfect. Now for the main course. Yeah, yeah. They're gone! But it's... but that's impossible! They, they were just here! Now! Run! My nose! It's gone! My beautiful nose! All gone! I can't see you, but I know you're here somewhere, and you won't get away! Oh, no! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I can explain. I didn't mean to stuff you back in that box. It, it, it was an accident. You believe that, don't you? <laughs> I hope you Smurfs have learned a lesson. Oh, we have, Papa Smurf. Good. And for once, I think Gargamel has learned a lesson, too. Oh, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. No more tricks, I promise. Please, I won't do it again. Please, help! No, 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 stop! No, stop! No, please, please! No, no, help! Extra, extra, read all about it. Brady's morning muffins are delicious. Extra, extra, Brady's morning muffins are delicious. Read all about the muffins. No, thank you, Editor Smurf. I'd rather eat one. Yum, yum, yum! Thank you, Brady. Mmm. Mmm! Greedy Smurf, your morning muffins are delicious. Oh, thank you, Papa Smurf. I couldn't agree with you more. Mmm! -hmm. I just love morning muffins. Oh, so do I, Papa Smurf. I hope they aren't all gone. Greedy always makes plenty of morning muffins. I hate morning muffins. Extra, extra, morning muffins are Good delicious. morning, Clumsy. Morning, Papa Smurf. Clumsy Smurf, whatever are you doing? I'm making a wish. What are you wishing for? Uh, I can't tell. Why not? Because if I tell, my wish won't come true. Oh, Clumsy, what a childish notion. You've been standing by this well all morning. And he says he's going to stay there until his wish comes true, no matter how long it takes. Well, he's already been there half the day. What did he wish for? I don't know. He won't tell. Well, I just know he'll tell me. La, 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 la. Hi, Clumsy. What you doing? Waiting for my wish to come true. Oh, how smurfy. What did you wish for? If I tell you that, it won't come true. Oh, you can tell me. No. Nope. What, what did, did you wish for, for Clumsy Smurf? And he won't tell anyone his wish, Papa Smurf. And I think you should talk to him. As I told you before, Smurfette, Clumsy has a right to keep his wish to himself, and I suggest you leave him alone. Yes, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Hey, where's Clumsy? He's still at the well, waiting for his wish to come through. I sure hope it does, whatever he wished for. Uh, Papa Smurf, I was wondering if I might use your library tonight. Why, of course, Brady. The library is open to all of my little Smurfs. 
I ask you, Azriel, what can you buy with an old penny? Nothing. Well, it uh, might buy a wish. And if I had a wish, it would be to get my hands on those rotten smurfs and squeeze the life out of them. Deep well, keep well, oh well, oil well, water well, aha, wishing well. Well, 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 isn't this interesting? Interesting indeed. Throw a penny into a well, speak the right words, and the wishing fairy will grant your wish. Hmm, too bad I don't have a well. La, 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 la. Oh, hi, Brady. What's up? Uh, I have good news and bad news, clumsy Smurf. The good news is that your waiting is over. The bad news is that I'm compelled to tell you that your wish will never come true. It won't? Because you need a penny to throw into the well. What for? For the wishing fairy. And I know that if the wishing fairy doesn't get a penny, you won't get your wish. So you might as well pack up your tent, go to bed, and tell me what you wished for. Uh, nope. Fine. Keep the wish to yourself. See if I care. I'm sorry, wishing fairy. I didn't know you had to have a penny. Morning, Papa Smurf. Good morning, Clumsy. What's the matter? Papa Smurf, I've been thinking all night. Uh, what's a penny? A penny? Well, a penny is a human coin. Uh, Why do you need a penny, Clumsy? To give to the wishing fairy. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry, Clumsy, but I don't have a penny. Oh. <laughs> hey, Clumsy, wanna play? <laughs> no. Poor Clumsy. Gee, I guess his wish didn't come true. And I can tell you that it never will. Why not? It won't come true because he doesn't have a penny. Well, let's get him one. Where? Only humans have pennies. I wonder if Gargamel might have one. Gargamel? If my calculations are correct, and of course they are, then the zenith of the zodiac will triangulate with Mars right over the Smurf well. <laughs> I don't understand you, wishing fairy. Why do you have to have a penny? Penny, penny, penny. I'm glad I have the penny. Oh, Azriel, it's a perfect night. I can feel it in my bones. This time, I'll turn right at the Great Oak. We'll go by way of the Great Oak. It's quicker. I don't think Papa Smurf is going to like this at all. Oh, Brainy, stop worrying. We'll be back before Papa Smurf wakes up. <laughs> Oh, I do hope Gargamel has a penny. penny. Shh! Penny, penny, penny. I'm glad I have the penny. Gargamel! Penny, penny, penny. I'm glad I have the penny. <laughs> Smurf! Get them, Asriel! Get them! Over there! You fool cat! There's one! Get him! Get him! Who's there? It's us! What do you want? We have a surprise for you, clumsy. <laughs> What is it? A penny for the wishing fairy. A penny? Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Now my wish is sure to come true! Wishing fairy, wishing fairy, here's your penny. Make my wish come true, or we won't have any. Yay! Golly, I can hardly wait to get my wish. Dude, don't just sit there, you stupid cat. Help me find my penny. Clumsy, this wishing business is trying my patience. How long do we have to wait? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Well, my little Smurfs, what's going on here? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I've looked everywhere, everywhere. Oh, those thieving Smurfs must have taken it. Just like them to steal. <laughs> We didn't steal it, Papa Smurf. We found it. No matter. But he dropped it. No matter. The penny belongs to Gargamel, and I want you to return it. But Papa Smurf, you always say going to Gargamel's is dangerous. Just leave the penny where Gargamel is sure to find it. Uh, the penny is in the well, Papa Smurf. Hmm. Don't worry about a thing, Hefty. We're smurfing the pump. Oh, I'm not worried. Love, 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 love. 
steal from me, will they? Well, I'll show them. I'll dig my own well. I'll find another penny. I'll make my wish come true. <coughs> oh, Handy, he's been down there such a long time. Gosh, I feel terrible. This is all my fault. Don't worry, Clumsy. I'm sure Hefty is all right. Oh, Hefty, we were so worried. Did you find a wishing fairy, Hefty? Did you? Huh? I'm sorry, Clumsy. Our well doesn't have a wishing fairy. Oh. But I did find this penny. There. Ah, this ought to tempt those little blue pests. Come, Asriel. Time to hide in the well. Get off my face, you barbell! Leaving the penny at the Great Oak is a real smurfy idea, Handy. Yeah, Gargamel's always messing around out there. He's sure to find it. Hey, what's that? <laughs> That's the funniest well I've ever seen. What's it say, Brandy? What's it say? Wishing well. One penny in advance. Gosh, Brady, I bet this is a real wishing well. Now, don't any of you get any ideas. Remember what Papa Smurf said about returning the penny to Gargamel. Oh, Smurfette, you foolish girl. That is no problem. It isn't? Of course not. Clumsy drops the penny into the well. The wishing fairy gets her penny. Clumsy gets his wish. And if Gargamel thinks there's a penny in the well, he'll go in after it. Brilliant! They're up there, Azriel. They're up there. Wishing fairy, wishing fairy, here's your penny. Make my wish come true, or we won't have any. <laughs> Gonna tell? Nope. Hello. <gasps> Gosh, who's that? It's your dear friend, the Wishing Fairy. What is your wish that it may be granted? But I can't tell. But you have to tell the Wishing Fairy. Oh, go ahead, tell her, Clumsy. Well, uh, only if you stand back so you can't hear. I'm waiting. I think there's something funny going on here. <laughs> well, Wishing Fairy, I find you didn't stop Gotcha. Come along, Azriel. This one will do nicely. <laughs> so, you won't lead me to the village well, eh? We'll see about that. But, Mr. Gargamel, there isn't any wishing fairy in our well. Honest. <laughs> that tickled. Not for long, you pest. What you take lightly now will soon feel like a hammer pounding on your little pea brain. Now, who can that be? Uh, Mr. Gargamel? Quiet! Do they take me for a fool? Oh, gosh, I... Extra, <laughs> <laughs> extra, clumsy smurf, safe and sound. Oh, gosh, what's everybody staring at me for? What, what did, did you wish, wish for, clumsy smurf? smurf? Oh, dear. I can't tell. Well, you might as well tell. Yeah, you already told Gargamel. Did you wish you could fly to the moon? Well, uh, not exactly. Did you wish you could marry Smurfette? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, not exactly. Surely you wish you could be as smart as me. Well, uh, not exactly. Well, what did you wish for, Clumsy Smurf? Well, uh, actually, I just wished we could have morning muffins. In the afternoon! Oh. Ah. oh, it's so nice to have time alone for reflection. Greetings, Vanity! Jokey told me of your request for a trumpet solo. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm available, like, uh, all afternoon. A trumpet solo? But, but, but I didn't ask for... We didn't invite Clumsy to help us. Yeah, everybody. Uh, Junkie said he wanted my help with the harvest, so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
in the way. Elf Lady's big mouth. With our jokey, stupid pranks. Sometimes I'd like to tell Clumsy he has two left feet and is totally good for nothing. But of course, that wouldn't do much for our friendship. Oh, sometimes I'd like to tell Lady his mouth is as big as an ocean and his brain is as small as a pea. But I wouldn't want to hurt his feelings. Sometimes I'd like to tell Jokey his jokes are about as funny as a rock in your sock. I don't want to give him any ideas. Well, I better start to bed early tonight. I have lots and lots of new jokes to dream up for tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, hey, what are you doing? Hey, Brady, Scrubby, a smurf in a mask just creeps me with a pie that jumped out my back window. Golly, I wonder who it was. <laughs> It's about time somebody smurfed that jokey. And I say, without fear of rebuttal, that this mask pie smurfer was smurfing revenge for all the little pranks jokey has smurfed on me through the years. In short, the mask pie smurfer obviously has great respect for me. <laughs> it's the mask pie smurfer! The one who smurfed jokey! More importantly, the one who smurfed me! <laughs> I will deliver a pie to the face of your choice for just one handful of Smurf berries. Signed, <gasps> the, the Mask Pie Smurfer. He says to drop the Smurf berries and the Smurf's name in the old woodchuck hole near the Great Oak. <laughs> Who would do an unsmurfy thing like that? Not me. Not me. Not me. Smurf. 
Ha! You haven't been creamed by a pie yet. Care to explain? I keep trying to get creamed, Detective Brainy, but I just haven't got lucky yet. <sighs> See what I mean? Gosh, Brainy, I still can't remember where I was that night. Uh, I might have been collecting rocks, or I might have been tripping over rocks, or... Uh... <laughs> There's Smurf Berry Cream on Grouchy's porch. That can only mean Grouchy Smurf is the Mask Pie Smurfer. <gasps> I hate the Mask Pie Smurfer! All right, Bonzies. This time we'll catch the Mask Pie Smurfer right where he lives. Easy does it. Easy does it. But... Pie cage will prevent him from surfing me with his pies. <gasps> These must be the pie smurfer's latest delivery orders. <laughs> I wonder who's gonna get smurfed next. Brainy smurf. Brainy smurf. Brainy smurf. Brainy smurf. <gasps> How humiliating. I'll have to wear this pie cage forever unless I. <gasps> there he is. Clumsy! Clumsy! That's the mask. Resist trying them on. Really, Papa Smurf, you don't expect me to believe. <gasps> you see, the best pie smurfer is still at large. <laughs> this pie smurfer business has gone far enough. I think it's time I took the pie into my own hands. It's time I took the pie into my own hands. I hate taking the pie into my own hands. <gasps> my smurfness, what is smurfing on here? <laughs> <laughs> This is for the time you fogged up my mirror. This is for the time you insulted my music. I hate your music. Over here! Hey, over here! With my new place for target, you just can't miss. Thank you. Help, help. I'm getting brainy damage. There's the pie smurfer behind Greedy's kitchen. The pie smurfer must pay. This is all his fault. Possible. Uh, but Donkey was the first one to get Smurf with a pie. <laughs> Boy, did I hit you, fool. I hit myself in the face with that first pie. And you fell for it. <laughs> it's been a dream come true. <laughs> Jokey Smurf, you're to blame for this whole mess. I hate this whole mess. No, no, my little Smurfs. You're just as much to blame as Jokey. If you'd speak up and tell each other when something bothers you, you wouldn't need a mass pie smurfer. The longer you keep unsmurfy feelings inside, the, uh, <coughs> messier it gets. You're right, Papa Smurf. Brainy, the next time you drive me smurfy, I'm going to tell you right away. Uh, thank you. Same goes for me, Brainy. Thank you. Me too, Brainy. Thank you very much. I think. <laughs> I still think it was the funniest joke I ever smurfed. <laughs> Papa Smurf, what are we going to Smurf the Smurf Day tomorrow? Well, since it's the Smurfiest day of the year, it must be something Smurfy. I think we should have a parade. I hate parades. Ooh, let's smurf some fireworks. I hate fireworks. Or maybe a dance with an orchestra and sing. I hate things. No fireworks, no parade, no dance. 
What do you want for Smurf Day, then? I hate Smurf Day. One thing about Grouchy, he may be crabby sometimes, but he really has a heart of stone. I know. We'll Smurf a great big cake. Now, why didn't I think of that? There's some flour. I've got the milk. Watch out! Here comes the honey. Let's see, flour. Milk. Clumsy's getting honey. Uh-oh. We're fresh out of eggs. Behold, Asriel, my latest stroke of genius, a magic egg. I'll put it here to cool, and then, when I tap my magic egg once, anything I say or anything I want will come true. <laughs> Imagine what I can do to those simpering Smurfs, Asriel. <laughs> Goodness gracious! <laughs> Quick, Asriel! The closet! Big Mouth want food! <laughs> Big Mouth love goodies! Mmm! <laughs> Big Mouth love eggs! Eat later. Oh, no! He's taken my magic egg. Azriel, we must get it back. <laughs> Big Mouth, take nap, then eat egg. Him, Asriel. Quickly now. The big oaf is too stupid to. Hey! Why you take my egg? Asriel! Stop him! The egg! Egg getting away! Papa Smurf says we can't bake a Smurf egg cake without eggs. There must be one somewhere around. Papa Smurf says... What's that? Oh, it's probably just an egg. Oh, that's some egg. We can make the Smurfiest Smurf egg cake ever with this egg. I hate eggs. Where are my eggs? Big Mouth wants eggs. It's the Big Mouth. Oh, it's so big and scary. Come on, this way. Big Mouth wants eggs. Oh, Smurf is me. Big Mouth is coming. Big Mouth hungry wants eggs. He's gone. Let's... Asriel! Gargamel! Gargamel? That egg must be around here somewhere, Azriel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where Big Mouth's <laughs> egg? <laughs> I want my egg! Let's get out of here, Azriel! Are they gone? Yeah. Let's smurf this egg back to the village. Oh, I'm afraid that nasty Gargamel and Big Mouth will come back. Oh, knock on Smurf. I wish we were back in the village. Uh, huh? Hey, where you come from? How'd you get here? Here. Yeah, how did we get here? Back already? Smurf is me. Where did you find that egg? I don't know. It came rolling down a hill. <laughs> Quiet! We have a cake to bake. Smurf me a spoon. Here, Papa Smurf. That's a hard egg. What kind of egg is this? Let me break it, Papa Smurf. I'll break that egg, or I'm a Smurfish sausage. Help! I'm a sausage! I'm a sausage! It's 
He said something, then hit the egg, and then... That's it! This egg is a magic egg! It's a magic egg! I want to try. Me first! I hate magic eggs! Oh, oh me, 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 me! Let me! Come on! I want to be rich! I want to be pink with blue flowers! I want a great big barrel of sarsaparilla! Make me the best horn player in the whole world! Make me just like Papa Smurf! I want to be Papa Smurf, too! No, make me Papa Smurf! I'm Smurfier! Great Smurf! I have to put a stop to this nonsense! No fair! I was Papa Smurf before you were! No, I am! I'm the Smurfiest! I should be Papa Smurf! What's this? If you're me, then I'm a monkey's uncle! <laughs> it's my turn, Lazy! No, it's not! You're a Smurf with a face like a troll! Oh, no! My beautiful face is ruined! You're a Smurf with big ears and a long tail and hair all over! <laughs> this is a fine kettle of Smurf. That magic egg is turning my little Smurfs into monsters, and nobody will listen to me. I've got to get rid of it before it makes monkeys of us all. Let's hide the egg and take turns Smurfing our own wishes. Yeah, we'll keep it just for us. It's gone. Well, there's another way to handle this. Uh, hi, Papa Smurf. And Papa Smurf. And, uh, you too, Papa Smurf. <laughs> what are you doing in there, clumsy? You're the biggest, smurfiest oaf in the whole world. Uh, what happened to me? Yeah, run for your Smurf. Uh, what's going on, Smurfette? Huh? Huh? How how'd you get so small? Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Antidote, antidote, it must be here somewhere. Papa Smurf! Oh, my! Oh, you're not Papa Smurf! What are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> Papa Smurf wouldn't like you being in here. Go on now, shoot! Out, out, out! <laughs> Big Mouse! Big Mouse! Happy now, Smurfs bring back egg! Get down from there, you silly monkey! Papa Smurf will be back any minute now! And now some essence of Smurf food. Just wait till Papa Smurf finds out! Oh, Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf, I thought... Quickly, Smurfette! We must find that magic egg before it Smurfs any more damage! Around here someplace, Asriel. Never mind, Asriel. I found it. Oh, hi, Papa Smurf. Oh, um, hi, Papa Smurf. Smurfy day today, right, Papa Smurf? Now, where is the magic egg? Papa Smurf, we'll show you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on hurry up, let's go. Asriel, my magic egg, at last! Now I can polish off those revolting little Smurfs once and for all. <laughs> what shall we have first, Azriel? How about yeah. Smurfs on a platter? <laughs> Bring us two Smurfs on a platter. What's this? I ordered Smurfs, not these scrawny yachts. Who's a scrawny? Who's a yuck? Magic egg, fetch me a nice... Lump. No, 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 no. Make it the biggest, plumpest Smurf of them all! <laughs> yeah. Uh, would some Smurf tell me what's going on? Yeah! Run for your life! Gee, hi, Papa Smurf. I sure wish. Don't Smurf a word, Clumsy. Magic Egg, I want everything to be like it was before. 
Now, after all I've seen today, there's just one more magic wish to make. Oh, boy, another magic wish. Because you've all been so selfish and silly and unsmurf like with your wishes, I want this magic egg to disappear, never to be smurfed again. Well, I'm glad that's over with. Cake or no cake, this has been a Smurf day to remember. Not what I thought. Pretty Smurf, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yippee! Now we can make more wishes. Another magic egg. I'm first, and I want... <laughs> Got to deny. <laughs> tomorrow afternoon. Okay, when I say go, we all lift the axle at the same time. Let's do it. Hey, where's Dreamy? Gee, I wonder if there's life up there in Outer Smurf. <sighs> I'll bet there is. And they're probably wondering if there's any life down here. Dreamy! Hey, someone up there is calling me. Here I am, here I am. Dreamy! Oh, Hi, Hefty. Smurf it up! There's work to be done! There must be someone up there. It only stands to reason. Dreamy! Watch where you're going! It might even be like Smurfs. Not exactly, maybe, but something like Smurfs. Dreamy! Oh, Dreamy! Stop! Help! Watch where you're smirking! Yeah. Yeah. Me, but there is life here. And you better start paying attention to it. I wonder what they look like. Maybe they're human or... Stunning. Smurf! Would you believe I saw a visitor from Outer Smurf? Uh, I didn't think so. Yeah, I 
to accept, Dreamy, but I'll go with you to the forest where you say you saw these things. Oh, thank you, Papa Spurt. Thank you. It's right on the other side of these bushes, Papa Spurt. But I don't understand. It was right there. There was even a hole in the ground. Well, Dreamy, with all respect, I'm afraid I don't see anything. But I saw it, Papa Smurf, and I saw the visitor, too. Maybe you just dreamed it, Dreamy. Now I must go back and help Handy. Oh, hi, Smurf. Who are you? I, I thought I knew every Smurf in the village. Oh, I get what it's like. Papa Smurf, I found him. I found him. Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, I found it. Come see. Hurry. See? Uh, perhaps you've been working too hard, Dreamy. Papa, you've got to believe me. He's not really a Smurf. He's, he's... Oh, tell him, please. I'll Smurf up a tonic for you uh, when the water wheel's finished. But, but, but... You know what? Do me a favor and go away. I never want to see you again. You look over there, clumsy. Just make sure it's a straight piece of wood and strong enough to support that axle. Uh, okay, Handy. Looking for an axle pain. Looking for an axle pain. Oh. Gee, this sure is a funny looking stack. Look, it's straight and strong. Hey, Handy. Uh, look what I found. Uh, what is it? Will it do? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Do you think it'll make a good axle pin? It just might at that. Perfect fit. Okay, Papa Smurf. Open the sluice gates, Hefty. shouldn't be smurfing that fast. Look, it's glowing. Andy, what did you use for the axle pin? Well, I, uh, I'm not sure, Papa Smurf. I've never seen anything like it before. Whatever it is, we'd better smurf it out of there while we still can. <gasps> what do we do, Papa Smurf? Every smurf, follow me, quickly. I know I saw him. At least, I think I saw him. Sure is windy all of a sudden. Oh, let's burn this. Quickly, Dreamy, quickly! 
Papa Smurf! I got you, Papa Smurf! That glow! I've seen it somewhere before. We'll just have to wait out the storm, my little Smurfs. What caused the water wheel to spin so fast, Papa Smurf? I don't know, Smurfette. I just hope our village survives this wind. I know who can stop it, Papa Smurf. Dreamy, stop! We can't help in this wind. We must wait and hope. There you are. You've got to help us. The wind is destroying our village. I'm getting pretty, getting pretty. Oh, I saw something blowing on the water wheel. It looked like a piece from your shooting star. You don't want to see those sort of you. At the water wheel. There. Oh, don't make it get away. What do you think? The wind is dying. Quickly, we must find Dreamy. And it's free to go in here. Look out, look out. Look out, look out. Woody, what is your worry? You're welcome. Why do you need to get rid of it? Free, free. Bye. I hope you come back again, I think. Oh, Dreamy, you're so brave. How did you stop the wheel, Dreamy? Yeah. Well, to tell the truth, I didn't stop it. My friend from Outer Smurf did. Not that again. Come on, Dreamy. This is getting boring. I hate boring. Honest, I saw him. It's true, it's true. Oh, no Smurf believes me. I believe you, Dreamy. Really, Papa Smurf? At least I believe it's possible. Goodbye, friends. In fact, I do believe it. Ah, ah spring. Yes, it's that time of year, Farmer, when the hearts of creatures everywhere lightly turn to thoughts of love. Hi. And marriage. Yes, marriage, too. That rabbit's in a mighty big hurry. Didn't even stop for a nibble. Where are you off to in such a hurry, my furry friend? You're getting married in the morning? Well, you've got a lot of planning to do. Don't let us hold you up. And my best wishes to the bride. Hmm, love and marriage. Love and marriage. Except for me. Who in the world would want to marry me? Isn't it just the smurfiest day ever? Here's a flower for you. You can pin it in your hat. Oh, oh well, uh, oh. Thank you, Smurfette. Uh, uh. Why is it my tongue turns into a turnip whenever I try to talk to Smurfette? Could it be that I am in love with Smurfette? Yes, I'm in love with Smurfette. She'd make a perfect bride. Uh, but what would Smurfette want with a farmer like me? No. If only I could impress her. Ah, maybe I could write her a poem. That's a wonderful idea. Except for one thing, I can't write poems. But there's one Smurf in the village who can. Oh, it's Smurf. I need help from you. Uh, what can I do for you, Farmer Smurf? I need some way to express my love for Smurfette. I was wondering if, um... If I would write a poem declaring your love for her, I would be glad to. But this must be our secret. Oh, my lips are sealed. Now, oh, where do I find a Smurf to deliver this letter to Smurfette? Ah, Grouchy, of course. Grouchy, I would like you to deliver this letter to Smurfette. But in so doing, I must swear you to secrecy. I hate secrecy. Remember, mum's the word. Oh, now who can that be? Why, Grouchy, hello. Here. Oh, it's from a secret admirer. Oh, I just love secret admirers. I hate secret admirers. Oh, he has such a way with words. I can just tell from his poem that he is very, very handsome and refined, romantic and witty, genteel and smurfy. Oh, I'm going to answer him right away. Oh, Crouchy, you must deliver my answer today. But you must promise me you'll keep it a secret. I hate secrets. 
Oh, secret admirer, my heart's all aflame. I'm covered with goosebumps to find out your name. So, secret admirer, whomever you be, meet me tonight beside the oak tree. That's me, Grouchy. She wants to meet me. Oh, no. No, she doesn't want to meet me. She wants to meet her secret admirer. Maybe, just maybe, mind you, I could get somebody to help me be charming, but who? Where can I find a smurf who is charming, refined, and sophisticated? And don't forget, handsome, you have found your smurf. Why, yes, I think you're the perfect smurf to teach me charm. But I'll have to swear you to secrecy, to never tell a living smurf. My beautiful lips are sealed. You sure this mask you're making will change me from a country bumpkin to a charming, sophisticated smurf, Handy? Farmer, with this mask, you'll be irresistible. Try it on. It does change my appearance. She'll never recognize me. Thank you, Handy. And remember, keep this under your smurf. It's a secret. Oh, here I sit with a formula for turning smurfs into gold, and I can't get on with it because I lack one simple ingredient. Smurfs. After bringing it to a boil, add six smurfs and let simmer. Six smurfs, Osriel. That's all I need. Just six smurfs. Big Mouth hungry. When Big Mouth hungry, Big Mouth must eat. Oh, uh, uh, nice of you to stop by, Mr. Big Mouth. Uh, but uh, instead of my laboratory equipment, uh, how would you like some uh, uh, rock stew with slime sauce uh, flavored with Smurf hats? Yummy! Big Mouth loves rock stew with slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. If you can bring me back six Smurfs, I shall prepare you a feast. 100 gallons of rock stew and slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Rock stew and slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. Yum, yum, yummy. Oh, Azriel, Big Mouth is the answer to my prayers. We shall have our six Smurfs after all. She uh, should be here any minute, Vanity. Better put on your mask, Farmer. Oh, and who are you? What's in a name? That which we call a nose by any other name could smell as sweet. That's rose, not nose. Oops, sorry. Why are you wearing a mask, Secret Admirer? Because I, uh, I want you to love me for my inner beauty. If you beheld my face, you, uh... You would faint away at the sight of my loveliness. Oh. You would faint away at the sight of my loveliness. And never get to know the real me. Let's not be going overboard here, Vanity. When you've got it, flaunt it. Since we met by the tree, I know more than before. Mysterious stranger, it is you I adore. Oh, I'm so confused, Grouchy. I love him, but... Oh, well, please deliver this to my secret admirer and promise to keep it a secret. I hate secrets. Mysterious stranger, it is you I adore. Ah, uh, Smurf Fat's not in love with me. She's in love with a mysterious stranger. When she finds out her secret admirer is a country pumpkin, I'll be the laughing stock of the village. Shall I tell her the truth? Why, Farmer, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, 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 uh. Food! Big Mouth need food! That's funny. Big Mouth thought he saw two blue Smurfs. Big Mouth had one Smurf. Now need one, two, seven, three, sixteen, only five more. <laughs> then Big Mouth get rock stew with slime sauce flavored with Smurf hats. Yum, 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 yummy. You got any threes? Go Smurf. Has anyone seen Smurf Hat and Farmer? It's getting nasty out there. If Smurf Hat and Farmer are in the forest during this storm, I'm concerned about their safety. Fellow Smurfs, I think we had better go and look for Smurf Hat and Farmer before this storm gets any worse. I don't understand how those two could go off into the forest knowing a storm was coming. That sounds like cry of Smurf. Help! Help! Smurf at help! Big 
mouth right. <laughs> he kind of muddy, but he still have hat. Now Big Mouth have two Smurfs. If Big Mouth have two Smurfs, how many Smurfs Big Mouth need to make six? One, two, seven. Big Mouth not worry about counting Smurfs. Big Mouth worry about catching Smurfs to boil in rock stew with slime sauce. Yummy! It has all the ingredients, Azriel. Decompose granite, water from the slime pond. All we need now are six Smurf hats. <laughs> That's right, Smurfette. I wish I'd had the chance to to know you better, too. And now we've no time left. Oh, Farmer, I, I may as well tell you my secret. I'm in love with the most handsome, romantic, wonderful, sensitive Smurf in the world. He writes beautiful poetry and says the smurfiest thing. Uh, no, I, I'll never be able to see him again. <laughs> Who is it, Smurfette? I don't know. He has kept his identity a secret, even though he asked me to marry him. After giving marriage a lot of thought, I was going to tell him that I'm too young to marry. But what does it matter now? Soon we will be in Gargamel's cauldron. <laughs> Smurfette, I know your secret admirer will understand, and he'll never, never forget you. Oh, Farmer, I feel so much better. You're such a good friend. Do you have a secret, too? Yes, Smurfette, I do. You see, I... I... Big Mouth hungry! Big Mouth eat! No, Big Mouth! Don't eat those! Why not? Big Mouth hungry! Because they are poisonous! One bite of those toadstools and you will die! Toadstools? Yeah! Little Muddy Smurf warned Big Mouth not to eat mushrooms, so Big Mouth set Little Smurfs free. You've got them! The six Smurf hats required for the rock stew and slime sauce. Oh, yum, 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 yum. And just in time, the stew is ready. All but the six hats. Caramel has tricked you, Big Mouth. Six Smurf hats would make rock stew in slime sauce. <laughs> Inedible! The seasoning required for rock stew is two red shoes. Big Mouth hungry! Big Mouth find two red shoes. Now Big Mouth can eat rock stew and slime sauce. Yum, yum, yum. Rock stew with red shoes really is yummy. Rock stew with red shoes fill Big Mouth tummy. <laughs> I guess that Smurf's the cap on the milk jar. Anyhow, I've been smurfing on a poem myself. Love is... Farmer, I brought you some lunch. Well, that's mighty thoughtful of you, Smurfette. What's on that piece of paper? Oh, it's a poem I'm writing, but you'll think it's silly. Oh, no, I won't. I promise. Uh, <clears throat> Love is like an onion. Sometimes it makes you cry. Friendship's like a bunion. It grows as time goes by. <laughs> Not the last. There, baby, you see, it's a piece of cake. Why, I bet even Clumsy can do it. <laughs> What's that? Boom, boom, boom. I know it goes boom, boom, boom. What's making that boom, boom, boom? It's Thunder, Taylor. Everyone knows that. When the cold air currents of the north smurf with the... Then how come the sun is shining, Mr. Brittany Smurf? 
Well, obviously you know nothing about physics. Physics, physics. Well, you got no clouds, you got no thunder. I hate thunder. <laughs> Definitely not in his chair. Baby! Baby, where are you? I hate this. Baby! Stupid! It's not furry. It hasn't got big floppy ears. What we have here is a leprechaun. And maybe a pot of gold. This leprechaun's worth more than a whole wagon full of rabbits. <laughs> All right, my little Smurfs. Baby Smurf is out in that forest somewhere alone. We must begin a search immediately. Baby! Baby Smurf, where are you? Hey, look what I found. Baby's toy. I found something too, Taylor Smurf. <laughs> no, no. What's the matter, little fellow? What? Poachers? His mother and baby Smurf have been caught by poachers. Oh, oh no! So that's what it was. Bunny says, the sound you heard was the drum the poachers used to run the rabbits toward the traps. We've got to rescue Baby Smurf. Oh, poor Baby! In you go, Rabbit. Your new home. <laughs> At least for a while. <laughs> All right, Leprechaun, tell me, where's the pot of gold? <laughs> Uh, Master, that sounds like baby talk to me. Well, of course it would sound like baby talk to you. What do you know about speaking leprechaunese? He just told me that wild horses couldn't get the secret of the pot of gold out of them. Come, Leon, it's time to check the other traps. All right, Clumsy. You and Greedy take Baby Bunny back to the rabbit warren. Yes, Papa Smurf. The rest of you go back to the village and organize all the Smurfs. If the furrier will not free Baby, we may have to fight. Meet me at the furrier's camp. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, my! My fellow Smurfs, you have probably all wondered where I have been. Well, where have you been? I have been with Papa Smurf searching for Baby Smurf. We have discovered Baby has been kidnapped by the furrier. Oh, oh no! Farmer Smurf? Yes, have they? You get the Smurf Fairy Pies from Greedy. I think 200 pies should be enough. That should do the trick, have they? Andy, you make sure the catapult is in working order. Smurfette will help you. Come on, Smurfette. We all feel 
feel the same way, Smurfette. We're coming, Baby Smurf. We're coming, Baby Smurf. Understand it. Every single trap has been opened. Not a single catch. It must have been a couple of poachers. Shh. Don't say that, Janini. We're the poachers. This is King Gerard's forest. It was a lucky thing we caught that little blue leprechaun because we don't have enough fur to outfit an elf. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Leon? I said we still have three traps to check. Right. You do it while I make sure of my little pot of gold. Hurry, my friend. There is no time to lose. Oh, looky, looky, looky what we have here. Another one of them little blue leprechauns. The master will be happy to have two of them, even if this one is a little old and run down. The master will be double rich now. Instead of one pot of gold, he'll have two. But why should he have all the gold? Just because he talks leprechaunese? Why shouldn't I be rich too? I'll just tell the master we didn't catch nothing and come back for you later. Then I'll have a pot of gold too. <laughs> Ah, oh, looks like we did catch something. Me. Amazing. It's all right. You can come out now. I would like to stay and thank you properly, my dear friend. But I've no time to lose. I must get to the furriers. Baby Smurf is in grave danger. shows you that not smurfing attention to matters at hand can cause a lot of trouble. But the important thing is, Baby is safe and sound. Do you think the poachers will ever come back to our forest, Papa Smurf? I rather doubt it, Smurfette, but... They're back! Run for your Smurfs! It sounds like it's coming from behind Hefty's house. Dark, 
dark and stormy night, and as he walked through the dark forest, the young Smurf thought he heard someone or something following him. Suddenly, he felt a large hairy paw on his shoulder. Behind you! Look out! I just went along with it. Uh... Yikes! Well, what was that? <laughs> Sounds like Friend Owl to me. Thank you, my friend. Well, what have we here? It's a message from Mother Nature. I must go to her at once. I came as soon as I got your message, Mother Nature. <sighs> Thank you, Bubble Smurf. I, 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 Bless you, Mother Nature. Oh, please excuse me, Bubble Smurf. I, I've been a bit under the weather lately. <laughs> so I see. Tomorrow I'm supposed to make the trees bud, but I can't go out with this dreadful cold. Yes, that's wise. If it isn't done tomorrow, the trees will have no leaves this spring. How terrible! Normally, I'd ask Father Time to help, but he's out preparing for the equinox. I'd hate to impose, Papa Smurf. What can I do to help? This bottle contains enchanted pollen. Tomorrow, you must climb to the topmost branches of the great oak and say, Burn branches, burn anew. Grow leaves and shoots and blossoms too. Then sprinkle the pollen over the top of the tree. But be careful, the pollen's magic is very strong. And remember, the pollen must be cast before tomorrow's sunset. I'll smurf it first thing in the morning. Uh, oh, I'm so grateful that I. 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 I uh, <laughs> Dear. Bless you. La 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 la. Good morning, Handy. I'm going to do Mother Nature a favor, and I think I'll need some help. Gee, Papa Smurf, I'd be happy to help. Splendid. We're going to climb to the top of the great oak, so we'll need some rope. <laughs> Papa Smurf's really going to get a bang out of this. Oops, I'm on a ribbon. Wait a minute. That scroll the owl delivered to Papa Smurf had some ribbon on it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be perfect. Uh oh. Now, don't you worry about a thing, Papa Smurf. I will personally look after things while you're away. I'm sure you will, Brainy. Papa Smurf really counts on me at times like this. All right, Handy, we'd better get Smurfing. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf, this is for you! It's a surprise! Uh, uh, why, thank you, Jokey. I'll just leave it with Brainy till I return. But Papa Smurf! Be good, my little Smurfs. Goodbye, Papa Smurf. My, this is an interesting package. I'm sure Papa Smurf wouldn't mind if I took just a little peek. I must talk with Jokey about this continuing pattern of childish behavior. Jokey! <laughs> Why, there's nothing to it, Clumsy. It's all in the wrists. Golly! See? It's easy. Now you try it. There you go, clumsy. Strip it all you got. Uh, okay, Hefty. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, golly. I guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to dig into this yummy, yummy cake. <laughs> around here. Yeah, it's probably me. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yoo-hoo, Taylor. Ah, hello, Smurfette. I 
was wondering if you'd have time to hem some dresses for me. Certainly, certainly. For you, my door is always open. Bring them over anytime. I'll give them a good pressing, too. Oh, thank you, Taylor. I'll smurf them right now. <laughs> Is this one of your practical jokes, Jokey Smurf? Uh, no, but I wish it were. You really look funny. Well, someday, some Smurf will play a prank on you, and then you'll see how it feels. But Smurf, I didn't. Oh, boy, what's this? It must be from a secret admirer. Funny is going on, and it definitely isn't me. Just a little higher, Handy. All right, Papa Smurf. That's good. Now, how did that spell go? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Barren branches bud anew, grow leaves and shoots and blossoms, too. Oh, no. What's wrong, Papa Smurf? The bottle's empty. How can this be? Maybe somebody emptied it before we left. Oh, I hope not. Smurf me down, Handy. If we don't find the magic powder before sunset, there may be a disaster. Now that you're all here, I want to know which one of you stole my joke. Stole your joke? Oh, 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 oh. Is one missing? Don't smurf around the bush with me. I demand to know who stole my joke. Rainy, do you notice something funny about Jokey? Actually, I've always thought his sense of humor was a little peculiar. Well, that's not what I meant. Don't you see? He doesn't have a shadow. Now, every Smurf knows who does the jokes in this village. My word! Hey, Jokey, what happened to your shadow? My shadow? Oh, no! First my joke, and now my shadow! And one of my pies is missing! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think I found your pie, Greedy. <laughs> hey, it's my shadow! Don't stand there smurfing! Get him! He's the one causing all the trouble! <laughs> there he goes! Get him! Hey, don't let him get away! I just can't understand what could have happened to that pollen. What's going on here? Oh, Papa Smurf, Jokey's shadow has come to life, and it's causing nothing but trouble. Come to life? The enchanted pollen, of course. Come, we've got to catch that shadow. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Search the village. We must find that shadow before sunset. Do you say him, Brainy? Do you? Huh? Clumsy, must you ask me that every five? Brainy, look! It's Jokey's shadow. Get him! Uh, oh. Whoa! 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 <laughs> what the? Oof. Ouch! Stop that! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. Hey, Grouchy, have you seen Jokey's shadow? I hate Jokey's shadow. Maybe it went that way. I hate that way! <laughs> and just where do you think you're smirking? Hey! Come back here! You're not getting away this time! Now I got you! So you want to fight, do you? All right, you ask for it! Yow! Not fun! One bit! <laughs> ah, he's so cold! Good work, Jokey! Quickly, my little Smurfs! We must get this shadow to the Great Oak before sundown, or the forest will be lost! Barren branches bud anew, grow leaves and shoots and blossoms, too! Now! <laughs> My little smurfs.
Smurfs. But what about my shadow? Here it is, Jokey. Oh, no, it'll never be the same. Don't worry, we'll take it back to the village. I'll press it. I guarantee it'll look good as new. Ah, spring is in the air. Mother Nature, I trust you're feeling better today. Oh, much better, thank you. As I see that spring has arrived on schedule. Thanks to you, Papa Smurf. Ouch! Oh, what was that? Uh, oh, that's just Taylor sewing Jokey's shadow back on. His shadow? Oh, it was nothing. Just a small uh, uh, mishap. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor did a smurfy job, Papa Smurf. <sighs> I'm glad everything's back to normal. <laughs> Me too, Papa Smurf. Well, uh, uh <laughs> almost normal. Then, Don Smurfo swung from the chandelier and rescued the fairy princess from the evil wizard. Swinging swashbucklers, Don Smurfo sure is brave. Yeah, he sure is. Ah, oh, he's so smurfy and charming. Aha, uh -huh. so there you smurflings are. It is way past your bedtime. Babrini! No buts, asset. Out, out, out. Night, Smurfette. Thanks for the smurfy story. Smurfy dreams? Brainy Smurf, didn't any Smurf ever teach you to knock before entering a lady's room? Huh? Well, Don Smurfo would never do an uncharming thing like that. Don Smurfo? Oh, please, Smurf, that be serious. Don Smurfo is just a storybook Smurf. <laughs> oh, Don Smurfo, indeed. Huh, the nerve! Oh, Don Smurfo, why can't all the Smurfs be charming and romantic like you? Come to think of it, why can't any Smurf be charming and romantic like you? Uh. Save me, save me, Don Smurfo! <laughs> You're doomed, my blubbering blue tippet! Not even Don Smurfo can save you now! Oh, I'll save you, Smurfette. Uh, what? Don Smurfo! The eye! <laughs> oh. My hero! Drat! That Don Smurfo! I'm foiled again! Oh, 
charming day gone by. Oh, what's this? I guess you've never read about how brave and tough I am. Oh, 
was really close. Uh, I mean, that was a really close. Chokey, is that you? Uh, I, uh, no, I, I am the one and the only Don the Smurfo. No, you're not. You're a Jokey Smurf. Ah, uh, what's the use? I'm no hero. Oh, really, Jokey? How could you? I guess you're pretty mad at me for pretending to be Don Smurfo. Well, after all the charming and romantic things that you did for me, of course not. Don Jokey! Mwah! Ah! You showed me that there's a little Don Smurfo in every Smurf. I did? Well, I guess the joke's on me. I'm sure glad that that Don Smurfo business is over. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's going on. And then he gave me this whisker. Galloping oh. gophers, can I see it? Oh. <laughs> me too, Smurfette. Hey, Smurfette, where is Don Smurfo? Oh, um, him. <laughs> Don Smurfo had to leave on another adventure. Oh. <laughs> but maybe he'll be back someday. You know how it is. A hero's work is never done. Right, Jokey? Right, Smurfette. <laughs>